Tiolori Leke is, um, is a former Nigerian international. Um, and of course, he retired from football and became a football coach. He is uh, one of the youngest black coaches to coach at professional level in Europe. He was former coach of Regina FC, former coach of... Uh, Banyolese. Banyolese. Yeah. Ban yeah. Banyolese, so, um, the fourth division, yeah. The fourth division. And today, Matthew is a, a coach's coach. He's a guy who coaches young coaches in Italy. He helps them to become better coaches. And of course, he's beginning to set up programs to educate coaches across Nigeria. We're going to talk about talk about that on another broadcast. He's a Nigerian. That's the good thing. And he knows his football very well. So <laughs> we'll be talking about a very interesting topic, something that could be of an education to a lot of football fans who may not understand what really uh, compensation is as far as coaching is concerned. Coaches are fired in football and we hear that they are paid off. We hear that they are paid off because, of course, they have some years on their contract and the clubs that fire them have to pay them off. Now, Matthew wants to tell us how this works, what is really involved. And we're going to be using Mauricio Sari, the Juventus coach, as a, an example. So, Matthew, first and foremost, can you explain what this is to, to people watching? Um, thanks for having me, and I uh, must thank you for what you've been doing as well. Okay. I see you were just talking about me personally, and um, I'm uh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm glad that you're, you're having me on your program today. You yeah. know, when a coach has been sad, um, not not that you've been paid off. The word paid off is different from you being sacked. When okay. you've been sacked, when you lose your job. Um, I think you don't, you still remain under the payroll and um, everything hold remains. On, hold on. Sorry to cut you short. Did you guys hear that? When you are sacked by a club, you are still under the payroll of the club. I'm hearing that for the first time. No, you still, you still remain. You, everything remains. The only thing is that when you resign, then you lost the opportunity. You lost every mandate because you resign automatically. You lost you know, every when you right. That yes, to everything you lost. But yeah, when but, you are... But talking uh, about being under the payroll, that's when you still have some time on your contract, right? Not when your correct. contract expires. For, for instance, you have four, five, four, five years or three years. We're talking about Mauricio uh, uh, Sari. Yeah. Mauricio Sari, as, as it is today, is still a coach for Juventus. Oh, really? Mauricio correct. Sarri is still a Juventus coach on paper. Is still no if in every in every perspective. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> That's if, amazing. What no, the no, no. The question is if they come to see um, um, Andre Pirlo is to go, they, they want him back. There is for him now to decide if he's to come back or not. So hold on. You are saying that Maurice Osari is still a Juventus coach. Uh, a bona fide Juventus coach. Okay, please explain why. That because he still has contract that bind Mauricio Sarri and Juventus. Okay. And everything, the way it is, the, everything is still intact. Okay, Not explain how that change. works. Explain that. Because, okay, I know that Sarri has three years contract. He was fired after the first year. So it Correct. Takes, there's more two years. And he says, uh, let me quickly just go through this and then you break it down for us. Uh, it, Juventus fired Sarri. But because Sari paid a three-year deal when he took over last summer, worth a basic figure of around five million pounds per season, which is seven million euros, Juventus are obliged to pay out the remainder of his contract. Reports suggest Juventus president Andrea Agnelli must shell out between 18 million to 27 million pounds to cover the compensation package, depending on whether he gets another job within the next two years. Please, Correct. break Correct. You see, it's stated already. Please, what, break this down. Okay, what, you see the figure, you know, normally, you journalists, you just see everything yeah. together. 
no, 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 no. It's not, it's not done that way. You know, correct, you're doing your job. Absolutely. It's a good job. But what you're trying to let, what, what I'm, I'm to break down is that that the, the contract we're looking at, the years still remain. Everything remains the same. The way it was when he was playing, when he was coaching, that's how he's still present. Yeah, but that's why they want to pay him off. No, no, they, they don't say the word pay off. They are not to pay him off. Okay, so they're everything. not paying all this money in a lump sum. No, no, everything is for every okay. Moreno is still under their payroll. Um, Sari is still under their payroll. He collects his paycheck every month. Oh, wow. So Juventus still pays the salaries of Maurizio Sari until the end of his contract. Okay, while he sits at home, read newspapers, watch Italian City again. In fact, he said the, 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 there are some clause, but there are some clause which is it. They are probably I'm not in need, so I, yes. it's not advisable for me to yes. say what I don't know. Yes. But, exactly. they are, they are, but what I come to understand is that he, whenever they want him to come, he will definitely come. Okay, so what you're saying is, according to the report, he, he will get to around 18 to 27 million. The average football fan will think that they will give him all that money straight immediately they sacked him. No, so no, 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 it's not, it's not done that way. It's not done that way in any way. The, you just see, okay, the, the only thing is that if he wants to come to an agreement with them, then I think with this, he has the negotiating power okay. to say whatever he wants. If Juventus will abide to what he's saying, you know, every, you know, when we're talking about contract, you don't breach contract because mm -hmm. they could, he could sue them. Yeah, but of course, that's why they say they will pay off after sacking him with... No, no, they don't pay him off. You, what the language pay off means they are to pay every bin, every dime okay, of his of, money. Of the, of the contract before it was signed. Yes. And it's not advisable. I, I don't think any club in this world will ever pay you money for what you don't work for. Yeah, but it's not working, is at home. <laughs> but... But he has, they, they, they sack him, not him sacking himself. Okay. Okay. What about if he finds a club within the period where his contract is still valid with the old club? What happened? Now you're asking a reasonable question. This yeah. Now they come to negotiate, depends on what contract he is having. For instance, if he has a very big contract, then I think Juventus will be advisable because, the, you know, Juventus, you don't just throw your money in the, in the bush or you throw your money in the sea. If he has a good contract, probably then Juventus now understand. Then he has to go back to Juventus and cancel his contract. Okay, so so that means Sari is still tied to the apron streams of Juventus. He has a contract. Wow, wow. So if he gets a new job, he needs permission from Juventus. He still go back and terminate his contract with them. Automatically, what? he can't sign. He can't sign double contract. It's not possible. What? Yeah, but they sacked him. You sack him, does not be, but you're still paying him. So he's still abide with your rules. Oh, and he's still with, with your contract. So, so let me let me let me just I'm coming. The contract me, now I'm sorry, let me put this clear clear to the world today. When you sign a contract, you remember this contract is deposited with the league. Yes. And automatically it's deposited. If every league is under the FIFA, then it's still with the FIFA. Okay. So maybe maybe it's better we use the word he was relieved of his duties as the coach of Juventus. No, he was still that. working for Juventus. Now you now you correct. Whenever when when everybody is out of his contract or, or out of the club, does not mean that he's out automatically. The only thing that when the contract is there, you remain with that club. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. No, no even as he is now today, if. Uh, Andre Pilo is not doing better and they feel that they think that okay we have to, to come back call him back to for him probably they have to do some, some 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 discussion to let them understand that okay this is where you have to work better and this is how you have to do better probably if you he, he, he come to the terms I, he can come back uh -huh. interesting well this has been a very wonderful um session i have learned a lot there are some of the things that you just read in the media you don't know the nitty gritty the the behind stories and that's what you've just done to us you've coached in italy you played in italy you've lived in italy for over 20 years 
you know the Italian game in and out. Correct. Thank you very much for this deep, deep, profound information and very sound knowledge about coaching, being sad, and being compensated. Thank you very much. We're going to do more of this and talk more about things that the average football fan do not know about. Thank you once again. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. Grazie mille. Yeah. Grazie mille. Prego, prego. <laughs>